Hello everyone, how's it going? The objective of this video is to compare the visual fidelity of the uh, the interlaced signal coming from the OSSC with the PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator. Uh, the uh, the left footage is uh, actually from the OSSC, if, in case uh, you're confused. Uh, it's probably a better option uh, to compare the OSSC footage with another device that handle uh, these sort of signals similarly, like the Retro Tink or uh, the Frame Meister. But unfortunately, I don't have access to any of these devices, uh, and the best thing that I can compare it to is uh, the PCSX2. Uh, what I'm going to show here is a section of the game where I show a pre-rendered cutscene. And after that, we'll go into some actual gameplay to say how the OSSC handles the different array of visuals and color combinations that are present in these, uh, you know, different uh, situations. Um, I, myself, am a new owner of the uh, OSSC. I've been uh, having some trouble with it when it comes to how 40, 480i signals uh, look. I've noticed some uh, dithering effect in the footage. You're probably gonna see it, uh, you know, if you compare the uh, the footage uh, that I'm receiving from the OSSC that is present in both the bo uh, my capture card uh, footage and uh, what I'm uh, what I'm seeing on my uh, monitor wh while I play. The reason for that, from what I've read at least, is because uh, the OSSC does not. Uh, have something that is called uh, a frame buffer, which is a piece of memory or a, or a section inside the memory that resides inside a, con a microcontroller. I'm not gonna bother you with that, but... Uh, having a frame buffer supposedly will introduce lag to the resulting output. And since the main goal of the OSSC is to produce, uh, you know, footage, with uh, with reduced to uh, uh, you know the main goal for the OSSC is to reduce or eliminate any kind of latency, and adding a frame buffer presumably question mark counters the main goal for you know for the uh, for the device itself. Um, nah, I gotta be honest with you, viewers. It's it for me. It doesn't make sense not adding not adding it. Especially, there's no options. You know, other uh, I think uh, the Frame Meister can do the same job, but uh, Frame Meister is uh, is uh, more than three hundred three hundred fifty dollars. So, <laughs> uh, my initial thoughts about this device aren't super optimistic. Uh, gotta be honest with you, of yours. For a device that costs a hundred and six U.S. dollars, plus tax, plus shipping, you should at least have something. Uh, you know, uh, you, you should ha at least have similar t results to what you can get from a normal signal converter. The one that I have, uh, you know, the uh, the other signal converters and upscaler that I have range between 30 to 40 US dollars. And the results is, are actually noticeably better on them. If you believe that, viewers. Believe me, if, oh, if there's a way I can compare it, I would, but I don't have a way f for me to, to show you how, uh, to show you the difference. You're probably going to ask why would you even bother getting one if you already have a good uh, if you already have good results with a cheaper uh, with a cheaper option. <sighs> well, if you're not new to this channel, you'll probably know why. And you'll probably know that I stream and I do let's plays for a huge range of games across multiple consoles, both old and new. Uh, and to, you know, I want to keep uh, things uh, short and simple. Even though I have a cheap and good option to play games from my PlayStation 2 that I'm comfortable with, I struggle to record and capture the footage from these options. Uh, for, in, for the PlayStation 2, the problem pretty much resides uh, uh, with my capture card's inability to do something that is called de-interlacing. But it's something you know your your TV or monitor uh, does to uh, interlace signals, and to fix this issue, I had to pick uh, one of two options. Option number one: find a capture card that is able to properly handle the 480i signals. 
Uh, and uh, option number two, get a device that deinterlaces the signal before sending it to my capture card. And, of course, my monitor. Where, at the moment, getting the uh, OSC was uh, the most convenient and, uh, ironically, the most cost-efficient. And you see, uh, now a lot of capture cards are capable of handling uh, 480i, uh, the 480 interlaced signals, I sense for interlaced. Even though most of them have no trouble supporting them, uh, um, including my capture card, uh, it doesn't actually capture it properly. That's the problem that I'm facing here. And for those capture cards that do handle the interlaced signals, I'll have to worry about making it uh, making it work uh, on my setup. I'll need, uh, you know, in my situation, I will be needing a component cable splitter that split, uh, you know, the split the signal into. Uh, uh, into two signals. One that goes into my capture card, uh, you know, a component cable will go to the capture card, and uh, the other will go, another component cable will go to my signal converter, to my component to HDMI signal converter that's going to my monitor, because my monitor doesn't have any, uh, you know, doesn't have component uh, inputs, on only uh, only HDMI and, uh, and display ports. Now, with all these pieces of equipment, I have to start worrying about input delay. Because, I don't know if the component cable splitter will uh, add uh, noticeable lag. And there's aren't, uh, and there, uh, I'm sorry, there, are, uh, there are, aren't a lot of information about these splitters adding noticeable latency or, or not. Y you see why it's easy to just buy a single product? Not only that is actually t cheaper for me, to do, you know, th than getting a new capture guard and the splitter and whatnot, but it actually also oh promises that it can do everything that I want with no additional lag. And and people, uh, you know, there are a lot of videos and a lot of uh, definitely a lot of uh, uh, videos uh, that talked about, you know, how the OSC is actually uh, extremely well. Uh, with that, not adding uh, any kind of uh, uh, additional in input delay. So this, uh, uh, I didn't, you know, do any practical uh, tests to, you know, to uh, uh, for that. But but I but uh, uh, I can tr I can I can trust the uh, what I've uh, what I've uh, what I've heard, especially you know from. From channels like uh, My Life in Gaming and whatnot, uh, they're probably, uh, you know, they have more of the, uh, the, you know, they have uh, the better answer to that uh, rather than I do. Uh, and overall, I'm not satisfied with the OCC's visual quality, at least when it comes uh, when it comes to using it with the PlayStation 2. And I'm assuming uh, this is going to be the case with any console that that gives out interlaced signal. Uh, and just to note, viewers, uh, that I'm using a line double or bob in deinterlacing. Yeah, it's, this is actually a mode uh, in uh, in uh, you know for those that have uh, that has the OSSC. Uh, there's a I'm using the line double or bob deinterlacing mode because this is the only mode that uh, my capture card supports. Uh, I've read that if you put, uh, I've, I've read that if you uh, put it uh, in pass-through mode, it'll get better quality, get better uh, uh, image quality. Uh, unfortunately, not that it's not going to help me in my situation because you know my capture card doesn't, you know, uh, can uh, cannot handle uh, capture, uh, you know, 480i uh, raw 480i uh, signal properly. Uh, but for me, when I did that and when I did try that, uh, uh, the quality of the of the footage on my monitor was still the same. I I didn't I didn't notice any difference. It's, it was still bad. It's really a huge disappointment finding out that that my forty U.S. dollar signal converter produces better quality than the one that is four times the cost. Can you believe that shit, viewers? And I wish I could and actually show you the difference, but the I don't have a wave. Uh, I don't have a way uh, 
to actually show that, unfortunately. Uh, keep in mind uh, that what I said here uh, is uh, to the regard uh, of the 480i signals, 480 interlaced signals. I do have some PlayStation 2 uh, games that support uh, 480p, which is a uh, 480 progressive. But I still haven't tested them yet, and I doubt I will uh, uh, I will do any tests uh, in the near future. Yeah. To be honest with you viewers, because uh, uh, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm, uh, I don't, I'm not seeing myself playing any of these uh, games in the near future. If I do test these games, I'll probably make uh, another video. Uh, probably there's probably someone out there actually, you know, did test uh, these games so. Uh, keep me informed. Keep me informed if you if you found uh, some or not. Uh, uh, if and if uh, any of you have informations or tips that help me get better quality for my OSSC, please do share them here in the comment section. And if I do find something, I will I'll make sure to uh, update you guys with whatever I find. Also, if uh, any of you have questions about the setup uh, that I'm using or anything in regards to what I've uh, talked about in this video, feel free to leave a comment and I'll make sure to, uh, you know, to answer uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, I hope this video uh, helped viewers, so uh, thank you very much for uh, Oh, I forgot, viewers. This game, this, by the way, this game that I'm showing, it's Shadow Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 2, of course. And I'm in the middle of a playthrough, and it should be up in the channel, actually, once I finish it. It's gonna be in the near future. Um, in the near future, viewers. If you're not into JRPGs, uh, you might still want to check it out. You know, whenever you start having interest in these types of games. Uh, and I recommend it, because, you know, unlike uh, the other uh, turn-based JRPG games, this game's uh, gameplay is actually unique. You know, with judge with the judgment ring and whatnot. So I I highly recommend that. Even even if you if you're not uh, into the uh, JRPG uh, uh, genre, if you are interested in the JRPG uh, genre and still haven't played this game yet, I'm gonna drop to where you live and beat the living shit out of you until you start playing this game, because. How dare you, and shame on you, claiming that you actually love JRPGs and still not, uh, still haven't played this awesome series? How dare you? <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be it for me, viewers. Thank you very much for watching.
men underestimate me because I'm a woman. 